Boom. Staying hydrated is incredibly important for maintaining good health and overall well-being. So joining us now with some creative uses for summer fruits is Bloom contributor and registered and licensed dietitian nutritionist Wendy Wesley, who has been voted best in the Bay. Wendy, it's always fun having yeah, you here. Thank you for having me back. Yeah. OK, so we're all about hydration because it is like scorching hot outside yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, Fruits are, as you said earlier, so full of water. So you just want to get lots of hydration, eat your fruits, and you'll get lots of fiber, antioxidants, minerals, vitamins. Can't say enough good things about them. What are the best summer fruits, like things that are in season right now and maybe have the best hydration? Yeah, I, I read a report that um, this is going to be a beautiful melon season, a big, beautiful melon season. So cantaloupe, honeydew, watermelon, it's all in season in the summer. Um, the, the stores have just been chock full of $3.99 pineapples. And um, stone fruits, so cherries, nectarines, peaches, that is, those are the summer fruits. Those are the summer fruits. Okay, mm -hmm. and this pineapple here, I love that you brought one because I don't even know mm -hmm. what is a good pineapple when you see them in the store. Yeah, a chef taught me how to cut one because I didn't know, I was always afraid of them. They kind of look, you know, kind of menacing yeah, and gnarly. Spiky yeah, spiky. Yeah. So a chef taught me how to cut one and now $3.99 and I can fill up an entire uh, container in the refrigerator. Um, I use a clear container, I fill it up, I put it at eye level in the fridge and instruct everybody in the house, eat the fruit. It's cut, no <laughs> excuses. If you put it at eye level in the fridge, mm -hmm. kids will just gravitate towards yeah. what's in front of them. Exactly. So that makes it easier. And if you want to put a note on it that says, eat this now. No, no <laughs> junk, no cookies, no crackers. Let's yeah. get through the fruit, yeah, right? Throw in a few exclamation points while you're at it. And then cut fruit can be $10.99 a pound. So if you can learn to cut these melons, mm -hmm. big, big cost savings. Okay, how do we cut this? So we are looking for a couple of things to know we have a ripe uh, melon or a ripe pineapple. One thing is you see if you can pull some leaves out of the top and I can pull this one out, mm -hmm. I can pull another one out and this means that this is a pineapple that's ready to go. Ah, okay. um, other, also it should have like a slight perfume smell. You should just have like a slight oh, yeah. smell oh, and then good. you should see yellow behind it. Not too much green. You should see lots and lots of yellow. So what I've done is I cut the bottom off of this and this creates a sturdy surface because when, you, when you're cutting a big melon like this, you want a sturdy surface. Right. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to cut the top. And you've heard you can put this in the ground and in like two years you'll have a pineapple. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do is just easily just kind of shave the outside. Now this pineapple is not as ripe as I would like, but this mm -hmm. was the best one in the store. And I always say like shave in a haircut. And in the cooking school, I always demonstrate and I make the students cut these melons. I put a knife in the student's hand and I said, you will cut. Because people <laughs> are afraid of yeah. knives and they can be afraid of this. And when once they do it, they see how easy it is. Look how easy that is. I mean, you make it seem like it's just butter. This is all edible uh, pineapple meat, if you will. If you want to call it pineapple meat, I'm just going to mm -hmm. give it a quick little shave. And then all of this can be cut. And in fact, at this point, and look how you, huge that is. Look at all this. This yeah. is all edible, ready to go. Don't mind the little end pieces. That's fiber, won't hurt you. And oh, then, really? No, all these, this little bit of, if you if you want to get fussy mm -hmm. and cut the green, you can. Um, but this, this kind of brown stuff, you can eat it, no problem. Huh. It's insoluble fiber. Wow, good to know. And then another step is you give your kid this hunk of meat and a cutting board, and this is a pie cutter from a grocery store. Mm -hmm. Your child can't hurt themselves on this. Right. And you say, okay, I want you to finish up for for, for me and cut it up and then the kid just saws through it and what this does is when you can involve your children in the kitchen they are more likely to eat the food and want the food and be familiar with the food and this is how you build good eaters I like that I like that get them involved in the kitchen get them involved with the kitchen so I'm just gonna cut some chunks and I'm gonna throw this in my water the same thing with if you can see what I'm mm -hmm. doing the same thing with the strawberries with the pie cutter you can kind of get it going. You can oh, cut off the top, right? And then you give the strawberry to the kid and you say, cut it up. Mm -hmm. Imperfection is fine. I was going to say, does, there's no right or wrong way is, really to go about cutting a strawberry, There right? is no right or wrong reason, uh, way to, to cut a strawberry. If it's not perfect, who cares? The, the goal is to get kids eating fruits and vegetables. And the way you do that is you uh, expose them to it in mm -hmm. the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Um, this is one of my favorite uh, water concoctions. I will do pineapple, strawberry, and I like a little cilantro. Now, cilantro is not for everybody. For some people, it's soapy. I love it. We have less than a minute, so do we Oops. just put just a little bit of that in there, or is it just to taste? I'm, I like a lot. 
Uh, it, it all I depends. Said, Dump it, it in all there. depends. So <laughs> this is a spout. Uh, this is a, a glass container. The spout's at the bottom. Again, mm -hmm. put it in the refrigerator so that you can just open the fridge and put the glass right underneath it. Fill it up, and you've got a beautiful, beautiful, uh, pretty much zero calorie, very refreshing, very hydrated drink for the summer. And it's nice to have something that's not just plain water because yes. then it's more exciting to go into yes. the refrigerator yes. and get that and out. And you know, you see these in hotel lobbies and mm -hmm. fancy spas, and you just do this at home and you are at a spa. There you go, the spa <laughs> life, thanks to Wendy Wesley. <laughs> Wendy, thank you so much yeah. for being here with us today. We sure appreciate it. Welcome back.